Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Rumbles video. It is 2111, Monday, April the 8th, and we are back in faction trials tonight. Let's navigate there. Trial of the Infernal, stage 12, power of dominance is turned off. Clear the stage with the soul core intact with all heroes alive. Pretty simple. Don't let anyone die. Don't let any monsters through. Trial of the Infernal is tough. It's hard. The boss has a ton of health. He regenerates health. He has shields. He revives monsters. You need big, big nukes on the boss, all right? It's the last one that a lot of people clear. It's the last one that I cleared. The easiest way to do it is with uh, Lord nukes and Cetrum nukes working in tandem. That, that doesn't mean it's easy, but it's the easiest way. If you don't have Cetrum, it gets even harder. You need to nuke with a Lord and with either Nocturne or Hex as of the time of this recording, depending on which one, uh, which flavor is stronger on your account, what the capabilities are. So you need big nukes from your Lord, which that focus fire effect, the, the DPS off that is increased based off of the DPS of the champs that are involved in the focus fire effect and how many of them there are. So you want more champs getting involved and you want them to be stronger to do a bigger hit, which is why Zilla 2 is so good in this because um, when you ult with her, her, her DPS goes through the roof. So uh, she really helps make that nuke really, really big. If you don't have Zilla 2, which is what this started out as, right? This started out as a no Cetrum, no Zilla 2 run, and it just morphed. And I'll explain that in just a moment. But if this is your first Faction Trials video of mine that you've ever watched, I have walkthroughs of all endgame faction trials stages 10 through 12 every single one of them different champ setups lords no lords challenges um anything you need so if you're struggling anywhere go check them out leave a comment if you're still struggling after watching them join the discord server the link will be in the description of all of my videos put a comment there shoot me a direct message hit me up any way you want to and i'll help you clear it with your team all right so let's get to this team in this run so as I said, it started out just no Cetrum, no Zilla 2, and I decided to just do it with without any other legendaries. Now, obviously, this can be done a lot easier with legendaries, right? With Ajax, with Hex, with Zilla 2, with Cetrum. That, that will make even a Nye, right? A Nye gets a lot of hate, but she'll help here. She can do work. So, um, I... And I'm doing this just to show the variability of the stage, all right? There's some there's some things that you need to take into consideration, and uh, I'll go over those, but, but this is the team, right? I've got Legendary Nukes with Nocturne and Twin Fiend, and then a bunch of Epics and Autumn. Let's go to the run. All right, here we go. Nocturne goes down. Next DPS needs to cost 18 cost or less. We're going to put Imani down. Imani can take care of this top right mob all by herself. Dolores goes next. Dolores is an invigoration. Give Imani an extra 10% attack. We're going to hold off on ults for right now. And this can be done much easier by using legendary DPS champs, right? But it can be done with epics. And this is just to show the flexibility of the stage so we get twin fiend down here twin fiend in this spot twin fiend and pyros right they can't attack the boss with their basic attack but they can hit them with their nuke so that's important here they can actually use their basic attack to hit the mob in the top right and they can nuke on the boss so when you place twin fiend ult with amani to finish off that mob in the top right place Autumn. Autumn is also an invigoration to give uh, Nocturne an extra 10% attack. Ult with everyone. And Autumn is in a Tumultuous Horn so that she can ult right away. And that DPS, right? The one, Autumn and Dolores are non-negotiable here for extra damage boosting. Nocturne and... Twin Fiend are non-negotiable for the damage on the boss. Like I said, you can nuke the boss down with Hex. I've seen it done. Uh, but for the purposes of this run, we're using Nocturne. So the other DPS that you use, I used Imani. It just has to be 18 cost or less so that you can nuke before that shield comes up. And then Nocturne will finish off the shield so that the boss doesn't regenerate health. 
once Autumn has done her job, pull her, get um, Azoth on the board, Soleil on the board, Ult with Azoth, Ult with Twin Fiend. Get a decent nuke off. Nocturne should be able to finish off that shield. Get rid of Azoth. Get Titus on the board. Pick up the speed a little bit. Two times speed. Now we need everyone's ults to get back up. Brunor on the board. And now we're going to ult with everyone we've got. Oh, I didn't get Titus's ult off. He actually had to use his unyielding. That's all right. Use Imani on the top right. So Lei is taking out the mob on the bottom left before Titus dies. Ult with Brunor just to help out. Nocturne took out the boss. Bolt with Twin Fiend to finish off the mob on the top right. Boom. That is that. We're done with Twin Fiend now. And that's essentially the run. Right? At this point, we've got a little bit of time. We don't need Nocturne to come back because Soleil is so damn strong. Ult with Dolores, ult with Soleil. Soleil melts mobs. Absolutely melts them. Whether it's these big guys or the little ones, whatever. She is a monster in Faction Trials. Soleil is so good. So good. Uh, the first time I tried playing with her, I used her up in the top right, but um, but the mobs in the bottom left, I couldn't get them. So I used her down there, and Imani's good enough up top right. So here's the team, right? A bunch of epics and autumn. And I'm I'm gonna say again, right? You can you can substitute any of the legendary DPS champs, and it just makes the run easier. Okay, the stuff that you need to take into consideration is that you need uh, nukes from the your lord and nocturne or hex right depending on how you have your run done i'll work on a hex one and then you need big dps from dps champs to make the lord's nuke bigger and stronger right so if you have legendary dps champs it's even better i'll go to the gear now since i'm using all epics this is more gear intensive than you need to clear 12 so this is more of a a, a proof of concept right that you don't need all of the the legendary DPS champs. There we go. Let's go check out the gear. All right. Back out. Heroes. Let's go to Infer not Piercers, Infernal. There we go. All right, Setchum I didn't use. Twin Fiend. Uh, Twin Fiend. I so I put him in a not quite max tier of Twilight. I have his exclusive, but the Tier of Twilight is better for this because with his exclusive, he does more meteors and it takes longer. The animation takes longer and it messes up the timing. Okay, so just take the extra attack, take the extra DPS, um, use the Tier of Twilight. Skills are maxed. He is fully awakened, um, but that's not necessary, right? It just makes it easier. Um, gear. We're looking at 13k attack, 381 attack speed, crit capped with 375 crit damage, and a soulbound Arcana sat. Nocturne is in Infernal Roar with 20,000 attack, 344 attack speed, crit cap 229 crit damage in a max tier of Twilight. His skills are not maxed, but his ultimate 
is. Okay, you need that that skill cost reduction to cycle for his ult. Absolutely. He is awakened for again, not necessary, just helps. And then Scorch, I didn't use Brunor. We put a Spirit Siphon on. He is max skilled. He's got Infernal Roar, 13-8 attack, 3-8-6 attack speed, crit cap, 3-7-8 crit damage. Imani, also an Infernal Roar. So for all of these champs, right, I just swapped them from someone who actually uses these sets. Um, if you're trying to clear faction trials in any faction trials, use the gear swap. Swap your gear, beat the stage, and then give it back to, you know, whoever actually uses it, and then you can use Power of Dominance to make your life much easier. Infernal Roar, 12-6 attack, 3-7-6 attack speed, crit cap, 3-5-7.5 crit damage, and she has a basic tier of Twilight. Azoth also has a basic tier of Twilight, max skilled, Imani's also max skilled, Brunor's max skilled, they're all max skilled. Um, Azoth is in a broken set, 12-9 attack, 4-1-7 attack speed, crit cap 2-8-7 and a half crit damage with 58 rage regen. Soleil, the Lady of the Hour, Infernal Roar, 11k attack, 301 attack speed, crit cap 3-6-5 and a half crit damage. She is in a basic tier of Twilight also with max skills. Titus is also max skilled. He has a half half level Bastion ring. Uh, gear. He's got a Guardian set. 90k health, 5.6k defense, 250 attack speed, 41% rage regen. Dolores. I used the Dolores. This one. Keen Wisdom. Uh, max Keen Wisdom. Max skills. Invigoration, 12-7 attack. That's all we care about. And Autumn, doesn't matter, but she was also in her Invigoration, right? And a max Tumultuous Horn so that she can ult right away when you start the, the round, okay? So that's the team. Like I said, that was, you know, fairly gear intensive, but you don't need that level of gear because you can do it with other legendary DPS champs, all right? So um, hopefully this helped. If it did, please support the channel, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. If you're still struggling after watching this, let me know in the comments, right? It's hard for me to, uh, uh, there's a, a discount code for something. Um, you know, when people say they, they only have a certain team, I, I try and build it like that, but you know, there's still variables in the gear that I have and that they have. And, uh, you know, there's, there's variables. So if you're still struggling after watching this, let me know. Hit me up. Um, I'll try and help you out. Or let me know if you're interested in a takeover. We can do that too. So thank you so much for your time. Please support the channel. Join the Discord server. We got a couple hundred folks. It's a ton of fun. I will see you in the next one.